it is dinner time in the hood. Hello from Hapjong. Yeah, we're starving and we mm -hmm. can't wait to have some Korean barbecue. This time, instead of pork or other types of meat, we're going in for some chicken. Chicken! So, spicy chicken awaits us. All right, let's go. Sam is always scouting the area for new restaurants. Anything interesting? Seriously, I am. Well, I found a place that does himotang, which I think is like a seafood stew. Ooh. And we also found uh, another uh, juke place that does Korean porridge. And we found a ton of barbecue places. So we've got like options galore here. Ooh la la. All right, Sammy boy. What's happening tonight? <sighs> What's happening is we're gonna be having some spicy Korean barbecue chicken. Yes. And I can't wait for it to come. Mm -hmm. It's duck galbi, and it's a little bit different than the duck galbi we normally have, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So how would you explain the one that we normally have? Okay, so normally it's like a stir fry. They cook it in a pot with potatoes and cabbage and a whole bunch of other ingredients. Yeah, like rice cakes and different vegetables. Yeah. But this one is just gonna be pure like meat on the grill, chicken yeah. on the grill. And you cook it yourself. And it's got the gochujang sauce, the spicy red pepper sauce, so we can't wait for that to come to the table. So while Sam is chugging on the beer, I'm gonna have some iced tea. Keeping things classy over here. If I can open the bottle, oh my gosh, please, for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, usually you, you get me to open bottles for you, so I this know. is, oh wow, look what's here. Fire. Here comes the fire. Here comes the fire. And there it is. Oh my. So That's now, scary. now it's just time for chicken, but before that comes, yeah, you can put your hands by it. It's really cold. Like today was the it's coldest crazy. day in Seoul, I think probably so of far. this fall. I think it was like a high of five or seven degrees. So mm. it's like winter is coming, but it's mm. still, it, I mean, it's just the turn of November. So how does, how does so it taste? Lovely. Now that the fire's here, everything is good. Yeah, everything it's lovely, but how does the drink taste? <laughs> the drink is good. <laughs> it's iced tea, not sweet. Now we wait for the chicken to cook and just smell the lovely aromas. Um, okay, so basically I think we're having chicken thighs because he took the pair of scissors and cut off the, the drumstick. So those take a little bit longer to cook and then the rest of the meat will cook faster. And it just smells so good right now. I know, it smells so awesome. Good. Like I just love that gochujang sauce. It's yeah. gonna be so good and so spicy too. I know, and the last meal I had today was breakfast. It was a late breakfast, but I mean, <laughs> it's been a while. Like, it's dark out, so I'm ready for this. But we don't want to eat raw chicken, so we wait. All right, so until the chicken cooks, I'm gonna get started on the tofu. Yeah, the banchan here is Soft. really, it looks really good. The tofu, huge, and a spicy sauce. Huge piece of spicy tofu. Good stuff. Mm. It's spicy too. Mm -hmm. Everything is spicy in this restaurant. I haven't had anything that didn't leave my mouth on fire, especially the chicken. At long last. At long last. It is so ready. it is ready to eat. Here is the piece of Korean spicy chicken. Mm -hmm. So before I eat it, I'm gonna take it for a bit of a swim in the samjang sauce. So you're, you're gonna make it even more spicy. Make it even spicy. more spicy. I love this sauce. This is like the best sauce. It's a mixture of the gochujang, which is a Korean spicy sauce, a Korean red pepper sauce, along with the soybean sauce. All right, Sam, you eat the lettuce with chopsticks. I don't know what. I, th I thought maybe it was cut a little bit bigger, but no, no it's you really it small. Chopsticks. So I should be having that with chopsticks. So I'll tell you what. Oh I'll put the meat in and then I'll grab some lettuce. There you go. Oh yeah. Wow. That is super oh spicy, really juicy, really tender. I'm now gonna put in a little bit of lettuce. <laughs> mm. All right. So I'm going to wrap mine in this perilla leaf and. There we go. Mm. So what do you think? Is your tongue on Not fire? Good. It is, but like, this kind of has like a minty flavor. So it balances out the heat a little bit. So I do like it. That's good. Wait, can you really taste the gochujang sauce too? I didn't dip it in the extra sauce. <laughs> but the, What's the on it is enough. That's like my level of spicy. Yeah. 
You're done. Stop there. That's good for you. <laughs> so when the temperature drops in Korea, I find myself appreciating Korean barbecue even more because it's so cold outside, but when you come into the restaurant, you warm up, but then you get even warmer once you're by the grill. It's just like, it's almost like being by a campfire or, or a stove. <laughs> Your own little fireplace at the table. Yeah, it feels like my own little personal fireplace. And once I get cozy here, I don't even want to leave. Like, I just feel like staying here. <laughs> I don't want to walk back to my apartment. Okay, so round two is cooking on the grill. And it's kind of cool because every once in a while, like, a chunk of chicken fat will drop and the whole grill starts sizzling and like it catches on fire it's yeah like, the fire oh. will just come like right through the grill it's pretty so awesome so much action at the table but yeah this is quite a bit of chicken to be honest i always so, leave feeling stuffed uh, by the end of it it's one of the like one of my favorite parts i don't know if it's one of your favorite parts but one of my favorite parts about any kind of korean barbecue is the do it yourself at the table aspect. yes I think it's so fun to be cooking the meat mm -hmm. right in front of you and it just makes it a more immersive experience and it's something that, that really makes Korean barbecue unique. Yeah. So how was that meal for you? That was awesome. We're full and like my tongue is literally on fire. At this Same point. here. At one point Sam was asking me like, are you cold? Are you sniffling? And I was like, no, my tongue is on fire. <laughs> I feel like I'm like part dragon, part human right now. <laughs> but anyways, in terms of the price point, so the barbecue itself was 20,000 won, mm -hmm. iman won, and then the beer was an extra 4,000 won. So in total, it was Iman Sachon one, which is about 20 US dollars. And that's awesome value for a barbecue like that. We're leaving stuff. And at that particular place, the guy is really nice, very yeah. friendly, very attentive service. So if you're around the Hapjong station area, come check out this place. It's a really good barbecue.